Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are checking out the Juice Mod. The Juice Mod has had its fifth anniversary, I believe, and it had a fairly small update. Nothing too big, but since Juiced is my boy, you know, let's check out the mod. I haven't done this in the past. At least I don't remember doing this in the past, but let's check it out for the one time. You know, I kind of want to do more videos like this where we check out uh, mod updates or just, I don't know, mods I've never checked out before. Can't really consider them a mod review unless I played through the mod a bunch of times, so consider these mods showcases the juice mod though i have played through a bunch of times but as we can see the first thing i want to go over for the fifth anniversary is that we have a new picture. This picture right here. Juice Mod's fifth anniversary face reveal. Juice has sprited himself in a face reveal. Look at that. Beautiful. The fingers look a little scary. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, the other ones, we got the fourth one right here. That's my boy, David, of course. That's my boy, Grognak, of course. We got the third one with all the orcs and autismo in the back. We have the second one that just says two years juiced. And we got the first one. Look at that. Little mushroom versus the cactuar. Amazing. So if you guys don't know a lot about the juice, Juice mod the juice mod has a lot of my just terraria modded series lore incorporated into it so a lot of you a lot of you new viewers i'm talking about like probably 90 percent of you guys if you aren't an og viewer if you haven't watched my old modded terraria series you probably don't know about like any of this stuff oh well you know you're missing out go watch the series but yeah like i said it was a fairly minor update we're gonna go over all the new things and a couple of changes that interested me let's start with the new stuff right here he added in actual mace and actual flaming mace much like you know the maces they added in or the flails they added in in uh, 1.4 let's check it out i'm gonna i'm gonna slap them there you go slap them oh forgot about the freezing stuff that happens literally all the time but look you get charges back boom harder hit the boy is yellow now i don't know why he turned yellow oh reduces defense when he turns yellow okay but juice mod has a lot of weapons like this where you can you know charge your back hold it back or at least has a cool swinging animation but we got the fiery one of course just like the fiery mace in the 1.4 update or flail it, it sets them on fire plain and simple believe you can find these in chests and then you just upgrade this one with torches to make it fiery next up we have the brawler's glove you get this from the traveling merchant i believe and as you can see punches enemies with your bare hands hold right click to grab an enemy left click while grabbing the pummel release right click to throw look at this oh yes oh yes now we've done a fist playthroughs where we use the uh, weapon out fists but look at this juice said forget it i'm making my own fist too so let's grab this dude oh <laughs> that was amazing i did that completely on accident but that was amazing let's grab him with right click and then left click to pummel oh my god that's amazing talk about innovative let's do it again but this time i'm gonna throw him yeet <laughs> So that, that's pretty cool right there. I like that. I also like how there was two of them. And I grabbed this guy. And this dude was stuck on him. And I just threw both. <laughs> so yeah, there's also the Stone Fist, which was already in the mod. But it got changed to pretty much do the same thing as the Brawler's Glove. But just way stronger. Uh, charges up a powerful punch. Right click while charged to grab an enemy. Hold right click to pummel the grabbed enemy. Let go. Left click to throw the grabbed enemy. Okay, the controls are a little bit different. But let's charge up the punch. Boom! That's just a regular hit. So if we do it like this. And then we right click. Oh my god. Oh, I accidentally let go of him. That was an accident. So I let go. Left click and it throws him. Okay. It kind of. The timer seems like it's resetting that or something's messing up because of omni swing something like that maybe i need a stronger enemy we got armored viking that seems like a strong enemy right okay i'm having trouble with the throwing part it throws apparently it throws uh, there you go you just kind of got to do it before the timer runs out i don't know because it just kind of let let's go it resets the attack after a while maybe a pirate captain is like perfect to do oh never mind you can't grab any bosses i don't think there you go all right next up we have a couple of changes to the legendary weapons but before we see that let's see the gnome staff the gnome staff so summons in gnome warriors and you can hold right click to direct the gnome warriors to block no warriors cannot block projectiles with higher base damage and double their own damage left click while they're blocking to direct them to shield bash so uh let me turn up my summon slots here let's get at least a couple of them and then let's step on that so they have a new attack they used to just shoot their gnome hats at enemies but now they kind of just stab them with spears and we can hold right click and look at that we put up a damn wall of gnomes to block stuff and then if we left click they do a little dash that's amazing hold up 
Let's see it in action here. Oh my god. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Already more innovative than 90% of Terraria summons. Look at that. The mod developer is always doing God's work. All right, let's check out the legendary weapons though. A bunch of these did get a new uh, right click, I believe. Let's check them out. A lot of them were just changed in general. So the legendary weapons, if you don't know, also based off of my Terraria modded characters. I asked Juiced a long time ago. I was like, hey, Juiced, what if you make legendary weapons to go along with my modded characters? Juice bless me by making these and they're all cool as hell we got the first one nunderson's glove does more damage to kill bosses of course that's what all the legendary weapons do uh rapidly throw shurikens right click for an evasive jump that throws many shurikens hold up during the jump to throw a giant one feeling like some naruto shit right here let's see so we got the left click and then we got the the the, the right click okay look at that and then we got hold up during the throw so oh look at that let's test it on an enemy He's gonna die instantly, so maybe not the greatest test. Oh, might have missed a little bit. All good. Hit him with the other one. Try it again. Hit him with a big one. There we go. All right, let's see the Staff of David. Unleashes a defense ignoring rapidly damaging laser, so that stayed the same. And right click to fire three magical bolts. I don't know if this is changed or not. This might be changed. I feel like it's been such a long time since I touched any of my own legendary weapons. So, like, I have no idea. This for surely changed. This used to be a revolver, as you can see now. It uh, does not look like a revolver at all. We got Book's Bullet Hell. Fires a crazy amount of bullets. Right click to spin the barrel. Deals 40% reduced damage when using a homing ammunition. That makes sense. That keeps it a little bit fair. Because as you can see, this might get a little loud. As you can see, this thing is pretty crazy. Spins around a lot. It also has, like, a gauge right here. We right click, we're on phase two, it shoots even faster. We right click again, it shoots even faster. <laughs> oh my god. And then we go back to one. So there you go. The pretty pretty insane weapon, I know. After that, we got Larkus's Tome, Summon Weapon. Summons a spirit of power to protect you. Increase your max number of minions. Hold right click to charge a more powerful blast. That's the spirit that protects me, is a little tiny spirit. And if we hold right click, it charges up a blast, apparently. I, I'm assuming I knew like an enemy or something. Whoa, that's really cool. I like that. So let's summon in a couple of skeletons here. Oh, I love how unique it is. All right, and last but not least, at least the ones I want to check out for, I keep stepping on that. The Warhammer of Grognak. Let's check this baby out here. Uh, right click for a strong attack. Hold up during strong attack to unleash a mighty shockwave attack. So right click. Oh, look at that. That's already cool right there. And then if we hold right click and then press up. Oh, yes. The spin, classic. This weapon does always do a, well, did a spin in the past, but this is way cooler. I like the animation on this spin better. Oh, spawned him in and killed him all at the same time. But yeah, cool weapons aside, let's go ahead and check out the new boss slash mini boss. I think it's a mini boss. And then we're also gonna talk to an NPC here known as the Hunt Master. So if you guys have never played the Juice mod, this dude exists, the Hunt Master, and he sends you on little quests to hunt down mini bosses. And it's such a cool idea. Yeah, I love that you just added that. Uh, let me find one of the mini bosses here. Tomato, Rogue Tomato. These are one of the mini bosses. You hunt them down, you kill them, and then you bring the head to the hunt master. Look right here. The new UI, this wasn't like this before. This is a completely new UI. And you come to him, you turn it in, and now you get a cool little item. The item can range from an accessory, a weapon, other cool items, and it's just a really unique idea. And as you can see, there's a lot of quests here. Don't want to spoil all of them, just in case you haven't seen them but we are gonna spoil the main one all right because in the past you know all these quests they just went up to the wall of flesh but this new update has added in a new quest post pre-hard mode aka hard mode and it is the storm wyvern you know those flying wolf snake things what were they called again linworms whatever they're called i noticed that particularly 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 nasty looking one fly over last it rained what's nasty about it it shot a freaking lightning bolt out of its mouth that thing is too dangerous to be left roaming free when it rains take to the skies and take it down but important tip before you go when it turns yellow that means it's charging when that happens take cover 
You may think you're fast, but you ain't gonna dodge a lightning bolt. Damn, all right. Sounds scary. I'm in God mode though, so not that scary. So obviously we gotta make it rain. Well, I'm probably just gonna summon it in. But you make it rain, you take to the skies, you'll probably find it eventually, right? Uh, and when I say you'll probably find it eventually, I'm gonna spawn it in so we find it now. Storm Wyvern, where do I spawn in? Probably the head is usually the best part to spawn in. There it is. Now, right away, I'm gonna say the sprite is amazing. It looks cool as hell. Ooh, look at that dash. Did not know if it turned yellow or not right there it looked like it was just a normal dash there you go i went and turned up the brightness so we could actually see what it's doing it has one more attack oh here you go here's the other attack it shoots lightning at us of course it's a storm wyvern what do i expect all right there you go we got it to like a quarter health i'm not seeing any new attacks so i'm assuming the attacks stay fairly the same so let us go ahead and murk it go ahead come come down here come down here caught your ass new record where the items go oh. so we get the storm wyvern soul let's bring this back to the hunt master hello sir i have a quest to turn in boom and he says good job grounding that uh flying wolf snake worm whatever here's your reward what's that they're called wyverns nah that don't sound right i ain't never hear anybody say what's that and the item we get is a summon weapon very nice summons a young storm wyvern to fight for you hold right click to command this storm wyvern to charge a lightning blast sounds dope let me put this tomato away boom does it matter how many slots i have i don't think it's supposed to do that is this supposed to do that <laughs> there we go it's whole bodies there it just spawned in a head <laughs> but yeah look at this little dude let's go ahead let's summon in some enemies hey you gotta get out of here let's spawn in some enemies let's see it in action it does great damage it's pretty much like a tiny uh stardust dragon but let's see the right click attack here i want to charge it up okay here we go here we go okay so that's a little bit hard to time let's just spawn in like the king slime or something someone a little bit more health so i could you know right click and actually see the attack go off without the thing dying but very cool so pretty much does the same attack as the big one but it's your own summon i don't think summon slots affected or anything uh here, let me add 15 does 15 affect it does it get longer oh it does get longer okay sweet so yeah it pretty much is a uh weaker version of the starter's dragon shoot it might be pretty damn strong if you get enough summons in here let's see the lightning attack with more body parts i just want to see him do a circle look at that amazing that's a it's a lot longer charge when he gets this long what the heck yeah very cool unique I, di I didn't even know about the the length part as you can see it does a lot of damage just off of the segments and length alone very nice i don't even need to do a lightning bolt attack this thing took care of it quickly but yeah in terms of all the content that i want to check out that's pretty much it this is a smaller update in terms of additions but there has been a lot of tweaks and stuff to bosses weapons a lot of sprite changes for example the hundred needle and the thousand needle sprites the mustache there's a lot of multiple sprite changes but yeah if you guys have never seen the juice mod it's a great mod i used to call it a smaller content mod but it has enough content to do a playthrough on it at this point especially with the the quest master being a thing now like him having official quests set up like that i mean he always had quests but the way that it's officially set up now and he has that whole ui like that's sick where did i throw him i threw him all the way over here like this ui stuff is super sweet i like this it makes the game feel a lot more unique and complete but yeah again if you haven't played the juice mod go play it i love the mod i love juice juice has always been the boy let me know what other mods you guys want me to check out in videos like this i feel like doing more videos like this will we go over mods i know a lot of mods or a lot of big mods got some updates coming out soon uh but i kind of feel like checking out some mods that i've never seen before because there's a good there's a good bit of decent sized content mods that i've never checked out but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see y'all next time